How's it going everybody? My name is Avery and I wanted to show off this cool project that I just came across. It's called GoRead. GoRead it is a terminal interface for managing and viewing RSS feeds um, as well as that um, Atom feeds as well. It's a cool tool that I just found. Um, this last week I was actually looking into RSS and looking into RSS feeds. I wanted to learn a little bit more about it and by sheer coincidence I checked out my the newsletter that I received from Go Weekly. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, Go Weekly, it's a pretty cool newsletter. They just curate some links um, for cool projects that are happening in Go every week. And they happen to share Go Read. Um, Go Read is actually developed using a tool called Bubble T. Bubble T, it's a Go tool for generating TUI. I believe it means terminal user interface. It's a framework. Um, it's for generating tools in the terminal, basically. Um, it's pretty neat. I might actually cover how to use it in the future. Um, but yeah, so I found this project, Go Read. It's just a user interface for managing your RSS feed. So to install it, it's pretty simple. Um, if you're on Brew, I believe that's on Mac, you can actually get it pretty easily. But we're just going to go ahead and install it just using Go through GitHub. I already have it installed, so the output on here might be a little bit different. Okay, then it say anything. Um, it's actually going to generate, or just, if you want to double check that it's installed, um, actually this doesn't matter as much, um, but it should generate this file in here. This is just a configuration file. If you do go read version, um, this is the version I'm using, I guess. Apparently it's zero. Um, I hadn't checked beforehand. Now that's interesting. But you can actually check out the help as well, and the help has a lot of inf some flags on how to do some basic stuff. Um, but we're going to look at that in a minute. Um, so let's actually just go ahead and jump right in. You just do go read. I have, uh, let's see, that's probably a good font. Um, for the future, if anyone thinks my font should be bigger or smaller, feel free to comment in the comment section below to let me know. So here we have all feeds, the new news and tech feeds. These are just sections that were pre-created, pre-populated, and when they come with the program, um, you can just scroll around with the arrow keys, you click enter, you can jump in, and here is all all the feeds so far. You might wonder why, I'm, why is there news about Zen and things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and click tab. Tab will switch in between the tabs at the very top, and if we go to select another one of these, we'll see. Um, so actually, nope, let's ignore that. That one's wired. Let's go to tech. So it says Chris Titus Tech. I'm not 100% positive, but this is probably developed by this Chris Titus. If not, it's just a RSS feed that he wanted to share. Um, you can see right here, this is actually the file that I showed you. So if you click enter, it's going to have all this guy's stuff. You can scroll through it. There's little dots down here for the pages. You can see there's more if we tab over. Um, and see there's a lot of pages down here. So we just scroll through and keep scrolling through. You can go through the pages. You click enter. Let's go and look at EA Sports, and here's this. That's a short article. Let's um, see if we can jump to something bigger. Okay, and now you just left and right arrow key. You can jump in between these two pages, and you should be able to scroll down these as well. Um, the links work as expected. You can just open them, open the link, and it's pretty interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to scroll. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. But now let's show you a little bit more. So let's go back to this home page. You can do, um, so I did control H, but maybe H on its own. Okay, H on its own works. You can do C to close the tab. So let's go ahead, tab over to tech, click C, and I closed it. Just tab over to all of these and close them. Okay, so now tab, we already covered that. O is for offline mode. I believe that will quickly download all the RSS feeds that you have listed. Um, that way you can read them offline. Enter, we cover that as just to open something up. N is for new. So from the home page, we can create a new category. And a category, it can be anything you want, and then inside of those will be the RSS feeds. E is for edit, and then D is for delete. So you can do new, and in here we can go ahead and create a new category. Um, basically like that. We're not going to do that in this example. Let's go ahead and actually jump into news and click new one more time and now we can actually add an RSS feed so you give it a name and a URL so I actually have a few that are opened up this is my email from GoRead and not, I mean from GoLang Weekly, my bad 
not only do they share go read but they actually mention okay we have our own rss feed so let's go ahead and check the rss feed out um this is what an rss feed looks like if you're not familiar with it i guess right here the tag shows that it's rss but rss is it's it's as it's apologies it's xml um, basically i guess it has this version it has the channel and then in it all you have to do is just do a title and you can even give a link um, these a lot of I guess what people do now is actually put the article themselves into the RSS feed um, so you can see as you scroll through it should have the articles as well so let's copy this link right here so for the name we'll just call it Golang Weekly and then let's go down we can just paste it in um, in my case if you're not familiar to paste it's with control shift V um, so remember to use shift um, that's for the I guess the GNOME terminal and we'll click enter and now it's been added once we, I scroll down and click enter again and here is the few articles that they have um, click enter and jump over to the right and we can see here's the post that's on their feed um, I'm not sure which week this is from okay so this is the current one so we can see the go read is actually in here so that's cool let's click Q um, actually not Q escape Okay, my bad. Escape actually closes it. Um, I just want to test it out. Um, but now we can see in our new section we have that. Uh, of course, that's something maybe I could have put in the text section, but that doesn't matter too bad. Um, Luke Smith, if you're not familiar with him, he's a YouTuber. Um, at least that's one of his things. Um, he probably doesn't like that name. But he has an RSS feed, so we can go ahead and check that out. This is his website, Luke Smith XYZ. I'll, I'll probably share all the ones I've been looking at. Um, so let's jump to his RSS feed and let's copy that as well we'll go and put that in tech and we'll click in for new and I'll do Luke Smith and paste that down and now we have Luke Smith's RSS feed um, as you can see his RSS feed has a lot it's his articles he shares YouTube videos and things like that um, so I bet if you were to switch to offline mode it would try to download as much as possible so now Eric Murphy he's a different youtuber this is his website. He as well has an RSS feed. So let's go ahead and pull his up like that. And let's tab over. We already have the tech open. So let's go in here and do Eric Murphy. And I'll paste that in as well. So now we have Eric Murphy's. And one last one. There's a Hacker News RSS. I don't believe it's official. Um, it's just a tool that someone's created. And they have a lot of options. Um, Firehose will just give you everything. Let's go ahead and just check out the front page option. I believe the RSS feed will just only show you things that have been posted on the front page. And we can just com copy it right here. Um, we can even look into it right here. And as we can see, it's just an XML file. It's kind of interesting. Everyone's is a little bit different um, and set up a little bit differently. I guess this uses Atom. I'm not too familiar with Atom and what the difference is. Um, that doesn't matter too much for this example. This is Hacker News, so let's go ahead and Changed our news tab in, and I'll do hacker news, and let's even call it the front page in case we end up adding another one later. So now it added, and we can go ahead and two, and we can see the front page. Let's actually just look up hacker news right here so we can compare it. There's the llama, that's how you pronounce it, uh, web environment for BSD Unix. So I'm not sure if it's the exact same thing. We have, I guess, llama right there. Um, I don't know how updated up to date it is always, but it should be somewhere. So there's the BSD and the Unix right here. Um, one thing that, you know, it's not really up to them, but it would be cool if the Hacker News actually had the article itself inside of the feed so you can download it for offline. Um, but that's not a problem with Go Read. That's just uh, how Hacker News is. RSS works, even though, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. And also, they can't really just cloning and copying articles from random websites and formatting them correctly so that's just cool um, I thought I would just showcase this if you guys want to create a tool similar to this as I mentioned you just want to use this project called um, the T project where's that at bubble T um, I'll try to have everything linked in the description so you guys check it out it's for creating these terminal user interfaces in go it's pretty nice now I'll probably do something showing how to create a project of this in the future um, on my channel so go ahead and subscribe if you guys aren't already so you guys can follow along and share your comments 
in the comment section below. If there's a cool RSS feed that you guys follow, feel free to share them. I'm looking around and trying to add more to my collection. Um, one thing to quickly note, let's check it out again. Let's escape from here. And now we can look in here. We have this. Let's go ahead and actually just jump into this directory because we're going to do a little bit more. Go read and let's just look at this. And as you can see, it's just the categories with their category and who they're subscribed to. Um, we can see the ones that we added down below. The description wasn't added, I guess, in the go read in the user interface itself. I think maybe you can't add a description. It doesn't really matter that much. And one other thing to note is let's do help. You can believe so there's a dump colors and there's also uh, let's see if this is what I believe it is get colors oh, it says that's not even a thing now I guess it requires a string um, but either way let's try the dump colors option and it generated this JSON um, color scheme let's go ahead and check that out it's just a JSON it has the list of the colors that are used in the tool I believe you can now that it's been dumped you can actually go ahead and play around with it and change it um, on their readme they cover a little bit more about that using a tool that I'm not familiar with it's called Pi um, Pi wall I guess that'll check it out a little bit better and you can test the colors this way and here it generates and shows all the colors and the terminal itself which I thought was pretty cool um, but once again I hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys again next time goodbye